Would you like to sign up 52 or more people every single year for your fitness business without utilizing any paid ads? I want you to know that utilizing this very basic birthday strategy is something that worked really, really well for me in the past and also for so many of the members within the inner circle. Now, we utilized this strategy actually when we had no money in our fitness business. So when we kind of first started in our fitness business, like I remember I bought my first gym for $20,000 it was. I only had like 500 bucks in my bank account off the back of it. So I didn't have a ton of cash. I didn't know how to spend you know, money using paid ads. I didn't know all these kind of like, you know, cool strategies that I do know today. Um, but what I was able to do is to utilize and learn this strategy so that we could continue to scale, so that we could grow our business. And it was so, so, so effective. And we only used it on the Facebook platform, which I'm going to talk to you about. But my good friend, Brad, actually taught me a couple of different ways um, to do it as well, which I'm going to share with you guys. If you've never met me before, my name is Jimmy Pomponio. I'm going to be your coach for today. Let's buckle ourselves in and have an absolute amazing episode together. But I want to give a big shout out to one of my um, private clients for Silly. Um, he's at over 150 members in his um, fitness business. And he is someone that I taught this way back like three or four years ago when I first became a coach. And he is someone who has utilized this strategy so amazingly well every single day within his fitness business. And it's been one of the ways that has helped him grow from a very small fitness facility to now, you know, being over 150 members. And I've absolutely no doubt he'll be at over 200 by the end of the year. Now, what we want to make sure that we do, guys, is utilize people's birthdays as a highlight, right? We want to make sure that we, we celebrate um, people's amazing milestones in their life. And there's going to be two main ways that I want you guys to focus on this. So firstly, in your Facebook profile. Now, any friends that you do have in the event section, you're able to see whether it's their birthday, you know, as of today, maybe previously, and also any upcoming birthdays as well. And we're going to be utilizing that a lot. It's why having 5,000 friends within a targeted niche or um, area, if you're location-based in your fitness business, really makes this strategy work really, really well. Or you can also utilize your CRM. And I know you guys are highly motivated. Anyone, you know, listening to this episode that you want to help more people, you want to grow a business, you want to have an amazing life for yourself, but also change lives. So you're going to utilize both the Facebook profile and your CRM. And I'm going to break down exactly how you do it. Now, the first thing we need to do is identify when is when when are people's birthdays, right? Which is very easy on Facebook and you should have that in your CRM because people, you know, your current members, ex-members and things like that would be, you know, start signing some type of pre-exercise questionnaire, which I'm sure is in your CRM. But we want to do this in two phases. So what you're going to do is initially make the people feel loved and cared about on their birthday. So if you're using it on Facebook, we recommend doing a post on their wall, okay, and then also sliding into their DMs and sending them a message. Now, it works a lot better, guys, if you know the person and you've had some type of memory with them, it works a lot better when it is personalized. So if you have a relationship with a, with a person, make sure you go like above and beyond um, and really share like a really heartfelt, you know, message um, that you that you can utilize. And again, just remember the more personalization you put into your marketing messaging, the better that everything does go. So in your pro Facebook profile, it's going to be a post on the wall and then a private message. And just say, for example, like, hey, Jimmy, just wanted to say, you know, happy birthday. Thank you, um, you know, for all the support over the last, you know, couple, couple of years. I had an absolute, you know, barrel of laughs with you when we were hanging out in Adelaide, whatever it might be. Right. And that's going to be a pretty similar message on the wall and on Facebook. Now, if we're talking about your CRM, and this is where you can go absolutely beast mode, because on the CRM, guys, you have their address. So you can send them a birthday card, which is something that the very best fitness business owners do at the start of every month. You'll send birthday cards to all your current members, all your ex members, all your prospects whose birthday it is. But you can also text message them. And this is where you would add it into your daily um, marketing strategies, where you would message all your members whose birthday it is and also message any non-members. But then you can also call them as well. And this is where you can make an absolute ton of cash, right? But phase one is make them feel loved and make the person feel cared about. That is phase one, right? That's the first messages that you send in all the posts and the cards and things like that. Now, phase two of this, right? 
is we want to make sure that we give them an offer to get them started. Now, I'm just going to share with you what worked really well for us in creating a seven-figure business and also what's worked really, really well for Vasily using his strategy to grow above 150 members. We gave them a free offer, okay? So we gave them a free 14-day trial to our fitness program, right? In our facilities, you can also use it online as well. Now, that is a really low barrier of entry to get people started, right? You can do it via private message, works really well on Facebook. You can do it via text message, and you can definitely do it via phone call. You could call me, hey, Jimmy, just want to say happy birthday. How's the day going? Awesome, mate. Look, just want to know, I just want to give you a little gift, um, which is 14 days of free training with us. Would you like to come in this week and get started? Nice and simple, right? Now, off the back of this 14-day trial, here's where it's absolutely integral that we get this right. Now, during the 14-day free trial, or maybe you do seven days, it's totally up to you, right, is you want to make sure that, one, you've done a goal-setting session with them, and you've set their goals for the next 24 weeks. So you don't want to just set a goal that they can hit over the next week or two. Set a really long-term goal with them. You want to make sure that they've done three sessions with you every single week that they've done that free trial. You also need to make sure that you have a conversion meeting with them, generally about three to five days before they finish up their trial. And also that you've got them some type of positive result, whether it's like a weight loss, body fat, if you're using in-scan, in-body scanners, something that is tangible. And here's where you can make a lot of money off the back of it. Now, we want to always sign people up for 24-week um, contracts, okay, off the back of any free trial. Now, you've really got two options here. You can sign them on direct debit. So for us in our fitness business, it was $65 a week for our group training program. Or if you're looking to collect more cash up front, which is something that we're focusing on a lot in the inner circle program at the moment over the next month or so, is you can sell them 24 weeks if they pay up front with a 20% discount. And what that's going, going to do, if you're able to sell you know, 10, maybe 15% of um, the people that you sign up every single month in your upfront, um, with your upfront offer, you guys are actually going to collect about another 10 to $20,000 per month in top line revenue, whilst the other 80% are constantly building up your recurring re revenue, which you know, if you guys have followed me a lot, is something that's really important for me. So I want you guys to make sure that your recurring revenue is over your monthly expenses, and then you can start to utilize the cash you are collecting upfront to continue to grow your business. Maybe you not, might want to be focusing on having three months of um, uh, three months of savings of your business expenses because we know how important that is, or potentially you might just want to do some fun stuff with it. But guys, the biggest thing that you want to make sure that you do off this back, back of this episode is that you actually structure the time to do it. Now, everything that I told you guys today, it's not bloody rocket science, right? It is not super hard to do. It's also like not very hard to not do and just listen to this episode and do two parts of fuck all off the back of it. So you've got to just make a decision, right? Do you want to sign up an extra 52 members a year or do you not want to sign up an extra 52 members a year? If you want to sign up 52 members a year, right? When you're learning a new system, guys, just go to your calendar right now, map out 30 minutes every single day where you're going to do your birthday follow-ups on Facebook and within your CRM. Remember I talked about you know, making sure that you're sending your birthday cards at the start of a month and you're able to listen to this episode um, if you want to, you know, make sure that you get everything done correctly and then just go and execute, right? I know that this works well because I've done it myself and I've seen it work really well in Vasily's account and I've seen it work really, really well in hundreds of other fitness businesses that I have worked with. Let's go go and take a little bit of action off the back of it. Go make people feel loved and cared about on their birthday. Then you can utilize some type of like free, free based offer to get people started. And with the more advanced sales stuff that we talked about with conversion meetings and getting people to pay up front for 24 weeks and things like that, that is something that I'll go deeper on in um, upcoming episodes for you guys because it is a really big focus. Um, for us over the next month to help educate and inspire you guys to make sure that we're just improving our sales every single week. Just remember below this episode, um, there's always a link to our best downloads and a few other ways that you can connect with us. Um, so make sure you go and check that out. But most important thing, don't watch any trainings and not take action off the back. 
if what I said today resonated with you, if what I said today, you feel like you'll be able to sign up a few extra members to be able to grow without paid ads is make sure that you take action off the back of it. I know those that take action will get really, really amazing results doing this. So let's absolutely dominate the rest of the year together.